and welcome back to my channel. This video today is going to be a booty and quad focused workout. The workouts that you're gonna see in this video are all of my most favorite superset exercises in order to tone, target, and burn the booty area and the quad area. If you enjoyed this workout, make sure to hit the like button to let me know. Leave a comment down below if you plan to try out any of these workouts or if you did try these workouts or what are some of your most favorite booty or quad workouts to do. And also make sure to stick around by hitting the little red button right here so that you don't miss out on any of my other future videos. And now let's get into the workout. So before I begin any workout, I will always warm up the specific muscle groups that I'm working out on that day. And that's very important if you wanna avoid injury down the road. For this warm up, I did 10 walking lunges per leg. So for a total of 20. And then when I came back from doing my lunges, I went straight into body weight squats. And I did about 10 to 15 reps of body weight squats for a total of four times. So the first exercise is going to be a superset using the Smith machine. For the first exercise, you're going to be doing squats on the Smith machine. Your feet will be shoulder width apart with your toes pointed slightly outward, and you will be cranking out about 10 to 15 reps. Now you can actually switch up which part of the muscle group you want to target, whether you want it to be the glutes or the quads. All you need to do would just be to squat halfway down as if you're sitting in a chair, and this will actually target more of the quads quad area. You're then going to go straight into a deadlift using the Smith machine. Now you can do this conventional or sumo. In this exercise, I actually did conventional, which targets your hamstrings. But if you want to continue on focusing on your glutes or your quads, you can go into a sumo position, which is simply by keeping your feet shoulder width apart and then continuing to pull the bar up and down. You want to also do this for 10 to 15 reps for a total of four times. For the next exercise, you wanna grab two, five, or 10 pound plates, depending how much you can hold. So you're gonna go into a back lunge, kick your leg up towards your chest, and go directly into a back curtsy. Now the weights are actually going to help you to maintain your balance while also giving you that challenge, but in order to help further your balance so that you don't tip over like I almost did many times during this workout, after you kick your leg up towards your chest, you can bring your foot slightly down for a second, almost like a pause before you you go into your back leg. Now you want to make sure that while you're doing your lunges for both the straight back lunge and the curtsy lunge, you want to go far enough back to where your knee is staying 90 degrees parallel to the ground. This will help to make sure that you're not having your knee bent over your foot, which could actually put pain and pressure on your knee. So you want to do this 10 times per leg, so a total of 20, and then you want to repeat this four times. The next exercise is also a superset. So we are doing side step up lunges on a bench. So when you go down, you wanna make sure that you're actually squatting into the movement. And then when you come back up, you're actually using your quad to help you get yourself up. You wanna bring your leg up towards your chest, keeping control of the entire movement. So you are using your quad primarily on this exercise and you wanna do 10 reps per leg. So for a total of 20 reps, Then you wanna go straight into doing hip thrust on the bench. So get yourself a plate. You can use as much weight as you want, depending on how comfortable you are. Through the entire motion, you wanna be squeezing your glutes as hard as possible, especially at the top. This is a great glute isolation workout, and I did 10 to 15 reps. You wanna complete the superset four times. The last superset that I did, which is definitely one of my favorites, we're gonna use the cable machine. So if your gym actually does not have an ankle strap, the one that I'm using here, I actually got from Amazon for a very affordable price. I will have that in the description bar if you're looking to get yourself some ankle straps. For this superset, you're going to be doing cable kickbacks, and then you're going to go straight into standing hamstring curl. 
So for the standing hamstring curl, it is a little bit tricky if you are new to the movement. So in order to do this exercise correctly, you want to be bending at your knee and pretend like you're kicking yourself in the butt, but you're actually using your hamstring muscle in order to bring your foot up to your butt. So this is a great way to practice that mind to muscle connection, using your hamstring muscle to bring your ankle to your butt almost as if you are kicking yourself. For this exercise, I did 10 to 12 reps per leg for a total of four times. All right, everyone, so that is going to conclude this glute and quad focused leg workout. I really hope that you enjoyed watching it. If you did, please hit the thumbs up button. Leave a comment down below if you plan to try any of these workouts or if you did try these workouts, please let me know your thoughts. Make sure to hit the subscribe button so that you don't miss out on any of my other future workout videos. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.